Good morning. This is Scott Boyd, Operations Officer with State Watch Office, and this is a daily situation report for Monday, March 9, 2009. The State Emergency Operations Center is currently at a Level 3 or Monitor and Activation status. The State Watch Office is currently monitoring the following. Nuclear power reactors at Turkey Point, Crystal River, and Farley are all operating at 100% capacity. St. Lucie Unit 1 is operating at 100% capacity, although St. Lucie Unit 2 is operating at 62% capacity. There are no major power outages to be reported at this time. All airports are open and operating normally. All seaports are functionally normally. All major highways in the state are open or will be open within the next 12 hours. There are no health advisories issued for the state. No confirmed or suspected major attacks on major computer networks in the state of Florida. There are no known border security or migrant issues at this time. And now for a weather brief. Thank you, Scott. High pressure both at the surface and the upper levels will remain stretched across Florida today. This will continue the warm and dry conditions statewide as high pressure blocks any weather system from affecting the state. So under mostly clear skies, daytime temperatures will remain about 5 to 10 degrees above normal, with low 80s expected for inland areas and mid to upper 70s forecast for areas along the immediate coast. Overnight temperatures will also be slightly above normal, ranging from the upper 40s to upper 50s across north and central Florida areas, and low 60s to low 70s across south Florida and the Florida Keys tonight. Relative humidity values may drop to near critical levels this afternoon over portions of the state today. Even though red flag conditions are not forecast, these lower humidities, combined with the increasingly dry soils, will result in a high threat for wildfires today and again Tuesday afternoon. Patchy to dense areas of fog early this morning over much of the state will also appear again late tonight as mostly clear skies and light winds will again allow for the development of fog. The Keach Fire Drought Index average for the state of Florida is now 535 on a scale of 0 to 800, with the Lake Okeechobee average elevation running around 2 feet below normal. There are currently 7 counties with average KBDI values above 700, with 11 more counties having average KBDI values above 650. With the next chance for rainfall not until possibly early next week, KBDI averages statewide are expected to increase over the next 7 days, with moderate to severe drought conditions possibly worsening and spreading throughout the next month. The Florida Division of Emergency Management would like to remind Floridians to practice fire safety today. With developing drought conditions in the Florida Peninsula and favorable atmospheric conditions for the spread of wildfires statewide, residents should properly extinguish all open flames, including cigarettes and campfires. Follow local regulations for the burning or disposal of yard waste and other materials. That's all we have for today. This has been the Daily Situation Report for Monday, March 9, 2009. Thanks and have a good day.